When we're talking about skiing equipment, most people always think about their skis or their boots. The one area people rarely focus on is the binding. Now the binding is the bit that actually connects you to your skis. If you've got a system ski, it's been pre-designed for you. The binding comes with the ski as a package and you have no choice in the matter. But as you start progressing, and you might be looking at different types of skiing to do, we have four choices, effectively. You have traditional alpine style, like this one. You have a strong toe piece and a strong heel piece. There's loads of safety features, that means if you do take a tumble, you release safely, but they're designed for the downhill. You have a lift up, and then you have just about downhill performance. There is high ones in the market where you can put in a, like this one from Marker uses the Soul ID system, where you can use a touring boot or touring style boot within this binding, but they are really all about the downhill. Then we move into the touring market. Now the touring market is split up into three separate components. First of all, we have the frame binding, which uses what looks like a more traditional alpine toe and heel. And it's great if you want to start looking further afield than just lift work. So this one allows you to have lift access and then do a small tour. You know, you might have some hike and ride ski boots, which gives, you know, the brake at the back. So this one allows you to have a little bit of uphill use, the heel lifts, and you lock it back into ski mode and you have the same performance you'd get with an Alpine. These effectively come into two different categories, either the lightweight ones, which are dominantly plastic, or the heavyweight ones, which have a normally magnesium or uh, steel components, which tend to be a bit stronger for the more free ride focus. There is a weight compromise with these, but performance and strength is key on the free ride side. As you move on from the first purchase of touring equipment, you can then move into PIN certified ones. These are now the next level on from the frame. So you have an Alpine style heel, but you have a pin at the front. This one is, gives you a significant weight reduction on the frame binding, but without all the, but with still most of the performance. So you have a really strong heel unit that locks you well to the, uh, the ski. So your performance is great going downhill, but as you put it into walk mode, you're rotating around the pins at the front and gives you really, really good uphill performance as well. These have been a fairly recent addition to the binding market, perhaps the last four or five years, uh, and have really ignited the, the touring um, thought process for a lot of people because it, it gives you the same feeling of solidity you would have for a normal Alpine setup, but the freedom of use of a pin setup. Then we move into the pin market, the pin binding. These are the lightest of all. They are great for multi-day tours uh, and they're great for producing a really light ski binding package, but you do have a slight compromise on the downhill performance because we don't have the same grip into the back of the boot as you would normally, as you get with a pin certified or an Alpine style. These are all about the weight saving and the uh, reduction of weight on the bottom of your foot. Now that might seem a really complicated group of bindings to, talk, to look at, my suggestion would be go to your local Les Brigham store, pick up one of their catalogue, and speak to their staff who've been well trained on all, on all of these products.